more you give is the more you get. And A, Job 28, verse 12, uh, right till 28. Job 12, verse 28, right till 28. Check it. You might just find something. You might just want to, you know. He's I and I, superstar, Mr. Music, Bob Marley. Marley's music goes beyond the lyrics and spirit of the ghetto. Marley has taken to people everywhere the message of Rastafari, the faith most reggae musicians aim to live by. Rastafarians trace their cultural roots back to Africa, from where their fathers came as slaves. And many hope one day to return there. It can also be a very convenient way of not seeing what surrounds you. You can as easily shut your mind with prayer and herb as open it. Below the hills, in the ghettos, political gang wars. Looting and burning still happen. The Socialist Party has started to clean up the ghettos, but on a very selective basis. Years of British colonial rule, followed by American big business and tourism, did little to distribute real wealth among Jamaicans. Instead, it's shifted Jamaica further towards socialism, as she struggles to assert her independence as a part of the third world. The single out relationship with Cuba, which is part of that whole regional cooperation, but it is not an isolated relationship. It is only one relationship in a series of third world relationships because we are a part of the third world. So the Rastafarian faith can be seen as an assertion of cultural independence. Rastafari was really founded in the 1930s by Marcus Garvey, a Jamaican who preached black pride and an awareness of African roots. Some reggae is still called Roots Music.
Michael's music is of traditional Ethiopian style. Its lyrics are about racial identity, about exile in a Babylon called Jamaica, and the hope of one day returning to the spiritual homeland. Reggae music, through the sale of records, spreads ideas and culture more than any politics or newspapers. There are some musicians who spread the fear, but they're almost never seen. They live in the ghetto areas, inside the churches, but they are a real force in Jamaican society, like the Abyssinians. of the Abyssinians have become a spiritual thing. There are even sung as hymns in the Ethiopian churches. Rastafarians believe that Haile Selassie, king of Ethiopia, is the living god. They call him Ja. Ten years ago, he came to Jamaica. It was like God flying in to visit the faithful. They still sing of it. Shower of rain. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. 